Hi everyone. I am going to do a large abstract mixed media piece tonight. I am working on a three foot by four foot canvas and I am really excited about this piece. I had done one similar a while back and I'm just going to get my canvas and my brushes all set up. So whenever I'm starting a piece and I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet, I just go ahead and get out all my brushes, my paddle brushes, mop brushes, and I'm just going to spray my canvas down with water, get it a little bit wet, and this helps to spread the paint around. It's going to help it blend a lot easier. For this piece, I did end up custom mixing a couple of the colors and they had a caramel color. So I'm just mixing together a little bit of the brown and a little bit of yellow ochre and I ended up adding a little bit of red and yellow to this color to make a beautiful caramel color that you'll see in the video. So I'm starting out on a dry canvas that I've just sprayed with water and it's already pre-gessoed and I'm adding in just regular acrylic paint. These are not mixed with any mediums and I am just going to blend away to get a smooth gray background that has some darker areas and some lighter areas. It was so large, I had to move around the entire canvas just to get to all the different parts in the sides. When I'm working on an intuitive abstract piece, I have something in my mind of what I want it to look like, but I am not really sure where the painting will end up. And I just really let kind of my, my visual mind's eye take me wherever I'd like to go. However the paint is reacting, I just kind of go with it. Whatever the canvas looks like it needs, I paint a section and you can always paint back over it. You know, there is nothing that is final in art. And you'll see throughout the video, there are some times that I get a little bit scared thinking that I've messed things up, but it is okay. You can always paint back over it. There were also multiple times when I created this painting that I thought, oh gosh, I wish I could stop right here, but I did know what I wanted this final piece to come out like, and it was a commission piece. So I kept going and I'm glad that I did and I'll show you in the final result. Adding black designs and space back into a painting can really add depth. And a lot of times that is what I will do when I am trying to get a little bit more depth or a little bit more contrast. The black doesn't have to be the base. It can be just the small spaces in between that create the illusion that the black was laid down as the base. And it gives a really great depth. This is that caramel color that I made and this was to match their couch. And I do really like that. I was so nervous when Chad reached out to ask for this commission because I hadn't painted an abstract painting in quite a few months. And it's such a process and it takes such a long time, but I'm really happy that I did. It's really rewarding once it's finished. 
I'm adding in a little bit of bronze and a little bit of copper and they didn't want gold. So those are the two metallics that I'll be using. I really find myself drawn to a lot of different shapes and flowing movement. Now here you see me adding some golden fluid acrylics and spreading it with water. And this is one of those steps that did not work. Normally it creates these beautiful, almost puffy clouds when it's sprayed with water. And that did not happen this time. I think it's because my surface was too dry when I dropped down the fluid acrylics. So I tried correcting it and spraying it with a little more water and that did not work. So I took a paper towel, started wiping some of it off. And this is one of those points where I was freaking out a little bit, like I have ruined what I've been working on for a long time. But I actually like the shape that it created. And so I just took that and ran with it and kept working with the shape of the line that the white had created. So now you can see from adding that white, it gave me the next series of lines to use to keep going with the painting. So I was really glad that I did. Now here's the next step that was a little bit scary. I love the painting as it was but I started to add alcohol inks. The alcohol inks really need alcohol to flow and to create that beautiful metallic effect. But I didn't wanna put alcohol directly down on the paint surface. I was worried that flooding with too much alcohol would bring up the paint from underneath. So I added the alcohol ink right out of the bottle and it just wasn't quite spreading well. And I will say a couple of things here. One, don't do what I did. You should definitely wear a respirator when working with alcohol and work in a very well ventilated area. And two, I should have put on gloves. So if you were going to try anything like this, please do both of those things. So here I'm adding the uh, brass and copper alcohol inks to it. And again, I definitely should have worn gloves. It was very difficult to get this off my hands. So after that was finished, I just knew the piece didn't look quite right anymore. So I wanted to keep going and I wanted to add some of the shapes and designs back in. Each of these steps that you're seeing happened in multiple days, actually multiple weeks. It took me about two months to finish the total process. So here I am again going back in with black paint to create more depth and add space back to the painting. A lot of times if your eye flows through a visual painting or something that you're seeing, sometimes your eyes need moments to rest so that it can focus on whatever you would like your focal point to be. And that is what I feel adding negative space in or adding those black spaces. That is what I feel that does. So I'm now just going back in and blending some of the colors, making things pop a little bit more, adding different areas and lines. 
And I promise this is going to come together. It's going to make sense. I really liked adding a little bit of texture and so I would keep some of my paint thicker on the brush and have some of it thin so that you could really see the brush strokes in some of the colors. I was really enjoying curved shapes in this painting and so I continued along with that design. And the rest of this is just all about doing whatever you feel, whatever you think the painting needs. Adding in different areas, different brush strokes, whatever you need. And if you don't like it, take a wet paper towel, wipe it off, and start on that section again. So I'm finally starting to feel like this painting is coming together into something that I actually like. I am just putting the last finishing touches on here, adding in shapes, movement, lines, to really create the visual points that I want for this painting. And now here comes the fun part. I mixed up some KS resin and I am going to add crushed glass that I have dyed with alcohol inks. So this is spot resin, so I am actually just only resining one part, and it's really just to hold the crushed glass in place. I just buy clear crushed glass, I got this from Michaels, and I take alcohol ink and I dye the glass whatever color I want to use. So I'm adding a little bit of that brass color, I'm adding a black, and I'm adding these big blue crushed glass pieces. And that blue is one of the colors in their home as well. Well, I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I enjoyed making this piece. I hope that Chad likes it and his wife and I appreciate you all and I'll show you the final result. All right, here it is. I wanted to get back so that you could see the whole thing. I've got it propped up against my other artwork. But so I am gonna touch up some of these areas. So this was just resin that I added with some crushed glass and alcohol ink. They had seen a piece like this. That's my favorite part right there, I think. Um, they had seen a piece like this that I did called Ethnicourt and they really liked it. So you can see there's some of the resin that's still here. So what I'm gonna do is come back over that. So there's always little touch-ups that I have to do. Um, so I'll come back over, touch some of these little spots up. I love this blue crushed glass because it takes on the color that's underneath it in some parts to be like a dark black and the rest of it is blue, which matches their house. And then the rest of it was just a free form intuitive abstract painting that I did. But I really enjoy it. I, oh my gosh, I almost fell over. I hope that you liked 
something a little bit different. I do love abstract work. It just, you know, this took me weeks and weeks to make layering and getting everything together, but I do really like it. So hope that you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comment box. And thanks for watching. Happy painting. Bye.